What is up guys? Welcome to the show. So I figured I'd shoot this video because I just watched uh, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that just came out uh, yesterday. Uh, I actually just watched it last night and uh, I'm a big fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, franchise. Uh, this movie, however, is pretty much uh, the sequel uh, to the original 1973 uh, one. So this is kind of basically saying like, hey, uh, all the other ones throughout the uh, series basically never happened. Uh, it was just this one and uh, the original. Uh, so having said that, um, was I a fan of it? Um, you know, I was and I wasn't. Um, like on a scale of one to 10, I, I know I always do the kind of one to 10 thing. Um, one being total shit, 10 being stop what you're doing and go watch it right now. I'd probably give it a seven, a 6.5. Let's go with the 6.5 out of 10. Um, just because I kind of wish that it followed the original, uh, storyline a little bit more. I mean, it was kind of nice seeing like you know, oh, um, you know, how there was like, you know, a group of friends that went out and of course a one uh, girl at the end got away. And, you know, it's kind of nice seeing that, like they kind of continued that to where, you know, she spent the last like, you know, 40 years or whatever, look, yeah, 40 years, uh, basically hunting a uh, leather face down and trying to stop him. And of course, you know, she catches up to him in this uh, film. And then she of course tries to, stop him and you know tries to kill him in this in this film and uh i mean it was kind of the storyline like i said i kind of wish it followed the original a little bit more than uh than it actually did i kind of wish it stuck to kind of the original formula the original storyline you, you know kind of that kind of thing in, instead of you know having it at the location that it was at and the storyline that it was going. I wish there was more storyline instead of uh, more killing. It kind of just seemed like it cut out a lot of good storyline to just put, you know, blind less gore in the movie, which was great to see. I mean, you know, gore is always good, but I kind of wish they kind of toned down the gore and went with more storyline. It would have been nice to see, you know, maybe take out kind of the bus scene because that kind of, it just, it seemed kind of, pointless to have that kind of whole if you haven't seen it you know spoiler alert you know when the bus comes in where the potential investors uh people investing in the town come in it was kind of pointless to kind of have that really in the storyline i mean it was just there just so he could kill like you know a ton of people all in a small area all at once you know quick endless gore i mean you know it, it wasn't really cool it didn't really add anything to the film i kind of wish they took that out and went with more of a good storyline like there, there was really no storyline it was just basically like you know these people went to you know this place and they basically were trying to you know auction off all these buildings and you know kind of make a little bit of money and then you know, Leatherface comes out and just starts attacking everybody, and that's pretty much it. I did like the ending, though. The ending was, was really cool, because he kind of thought a little bit that he was dead. Uh, so you're like, oh, you know, that's such a shitty ending. But then at the end, of course, he ends up coming out, and he ends up killing, you know, one of the girls. One of the other girls kind of gets away, and, you know, he does his, like, rock and roll dance. But I kind of thought that even that was a little pointless, like, kind of the dance at the end was... Just basically an homage to the, you know, 1973 original text to semester where he came out and did, you know, his, his little kind of freak out at the end. Uh, that was really not, I mean, it just, it seemed kind of cringy at, at the end of this movie. And, you know, I, I don't know, it was just this film, like even seeing his face kind of for the first little while of the film was kind of just disappointing i mean it just it wasn't really that great you know as a standalone slasher film yes it was good it was awesome it was great as a lineup in the texas chainsaw massacre uh, movie series it just it wasn't really that great it didn't really hold up you know i pretty much like the original part two better i'd even say even though part two to texas chainsaw massacre even really wasn't that great 
I'd still prefer the original part two to what we got right now. I mean, I was I had such high hopes, like I said, being such a big fan and, uh, you know, liking that series so much to kind of seeing this kind of was just like, you know, really, this is what we got. Like, we spent 40 years waiting for, like, the sequel, right? And this is really what all we got. Or even if you're counting all the sequels, uh, you know, this is what, since the last Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, like four or five years ago, anyway, we started, we basically waited, um, you know, for another Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. And it really just, it wasn't that great, you know, like I, I really wanted more storyline, like Halloween, the reason that the Halloween movies do so well is because it follows such a great storyline, you know, like the killings aren't just blind killings for the sake of killing, they're killings that are, that have a purpose to them, that they have, you know what I mean, like they have, they go with the, with the storyline really well, they don't just kind of blindlessly, you know, turn around and kill people, which is kind of what I kind of felt this movie really was. Yes, I get to the point that he was trying to get to the two sisters because, you know, I don't want to give too much away, but they were, he was basically trying to get to these two sisters and all these people were in their way. And I get that, but I don't know, like I just, the story, man, story. It's all about a great story. And I think that this is just where this movie lacked. And I could keep going on, but why waste my breath? That's the video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know much, and I'll check the next one.